Now in this video we are going to discuss some sample questions on quantitative comparison. Like what are you going to find in your GRE exam? While coming to the quantitative comparison questions, you will going to have four different options. Like first option would be quantity A is greater. Second option, quantity B is greater. Third option, the two quantities are equal. And the fourth one, the relationship cannot be determined. And that's when you have to be very much careful about these options. Now what does these options mean? So when it says quantity A is greater, it doesn't mean that A should be greater. But it actually says that whatever the quantity is, whatever the value is, quantity A should be greater than that of quantity B. Then only you can say that A is the answer. Similarly, for whatever the value quantity B is greater and for whatever the values quantity A and quantity B are equal, then we can say that C is the answer. Now, when can you say that relationship cannot be determined? Now, this can be one of the very confusing answer. It's when sometimes your quantity A is greater or sometimes the B is greater, then you would say that relationship cannot be determined because this means you are getting different answers for the same question. So here you don't have to find what is the exact answer to the question. But if you know the comparison, that would be the sufficient. Now based on this, let's do the first question. Now this question says A is a positive number less than 5 and B is a positive number less than 1. In quantity A, it was given as A minus B plus 2 and in quantity B, it was given as 6. Now based on the condition, we will take some values for A and B. So what the question says, A is a positive number less than 5. This means we can suppose a value as 4 because 4 is less than 5 and some value and some value for B is less than 1. So I'm taking my value for B as 0 0.5. Now when I look at this scratch paper, there are four options A, B, C and D. So when A is equals to 4 and B is equals to 0 0.5, what is the value in my quantity A? It will be 4 minus 0 0.5 plus 2, which makes 5.5. In quantity B, the value is fixed, that is 6, so I can say, so I can say that my quantity B is greater than quantity A. So here, whenever your quantity B is greater than quantity A, you can straight away eliminate the options A and C because in some cases you get quantity A is greater than quantity B then in that case D will be your answer but not A because for that reason A and C are the options you can confidently eliminate straight away. Now coming to the next value now you have to take some values in such a way that you should contradict your previous answer like previously you showed by taking certain values that quantity B is greater than quantity A. So now you have to take value in such a way that quantity A can be shown greater than quantity B. So now I'm taking value for A as 4.9 as it's again less than 5 and making my B's quantity as 0 0.1 because now I want to maximize my quantity A because I want to contradict my answer so I'm maximizing the value of A. So now 4.9 plus 0 0.1 plus 2 makes 6.8 and quantity B as it is a fixed value so it's 6. So if you observe this carefully, earlier we were saying that quantity B is greater than A but now we can say that quantity A is greater than quantity B. So in such way, so whenever you show two different answer, you can straight away eliminate option B and you can say that D is your answer. Now moving to the next question x is an integer and x lies between 24 and 29. Quantity a is remainder when x divided by 4. Quantity b is remainder when x is divided by 5. On the scratch paper, write down your options a, b, c and d. Now, take some values for x. As it says, x is an integer whose value lies between 24 and 29. So for a start, I will take my value for x as 25. So when x is 25, so I'll divide it with 4. So what will be my remainder? 4 goes for 24 as 6 times, so 1 will be my remainder. I'll take the same value and will divide it with 5. So 5 is divided by 5 times to get 25 and the remainder I get is 0. 
So when you look at the answers, quantity A has the value of 1 and quantity B has the value of 0. So I'll say my quantity A is greater than quantity B. So whenever quantity A is greater than quantity B, you can straight away eliminate option B and C. Now you are left with only two options that are A and D. Now take some values for x in such a way that you should contradict your previous relation. So now I'm taking my value for x as 28 because it lies between 24 and 29. Now coming to the quantity a when 28 is divided by 4, what is the remainder? 4 7s are 28 so 0 is my remainder. And when 28 is divided by 5, what will be my remainder? 5 5s are 25 so 3 will be my remainder. So if you look at this case, 3 is greater than 0. And you can say that your quantity B is greater than quantity A. But in previous case, you were saying that quantity A is greater than quantity B. Now we have contradict our answers. So here A will be eliminated and D will be your answer.